let us focus on what is structured data structured data is organized data as the name suggests it is structured the structured data can be easily stored in the form of rows and columns that is tables here it is so let's say you have student records you have stored in the form of rows and columns rows are your horizontal part and columns are vertical part here is student id name and is stored in the form of tables that is structured data it includes number and values i told you uh, quantitative data structured data is quantitative data so right now only 20% of enterprise data is structured and rest 80% is unstructured so you can see the need to manage unstructured data is so so very required i told you the structured data can be stored in the form of database tables rows and columns it is easy to search let's say i told you to search a name amit inside a data set a table with the uh, 100 rows you can easily search it okay so examples include student data i told you college data company data you can say with the name of employees age of employees phone number address and their department and other stuff comes under structured data now here are the forms and sources of structured data always remember the structured and unstructured data have two forms each machine generated data and human generated data this machine generated structured data includes your sensors okay sensors also comes under unstructured data so some of the forms of sensors can be stored in the form of unstructured data that is mongodb okay managed through nosql and sensor data let's say data of a smartwatch heartbeat and spo2 levels generated get saved under your structured data in the form of structured data web log data so let's say you have a website so website generates logs let's say there is an error on your website the website administrator will first check the logs for any errors so web log data is also a form of structured as well as unstructured data structured by the the time stamp of uh, web log data comes under structured form whereas all the other stuff goes through key value pair that is unstructured data managed uh, managed using nosql databases that is you can say mongodb server logs i told you okay server also generates logs and these logs can be considered as structured as well as unstructured structured you can say the timestamp values at what time it got generated basically comes under your structured data can be saved in can be saved in the form of rows and columns the time of tweets i told you can also come under structured data uh, the time of tweets since it's machine generated it comes under structured data machine generated structured data and the same goes for server logs the server log times are generated by servers and systems only okay in the same way point of sales uh, data includes uh, let's say we pay through upi or using qr code the point of sales data the transaction data including the time of data comes under structured form now human generated structured data i told you before the names phone number dates ssn number zip codes comes under structured data let's say student names student phone number student uh, date of joining and the zip code with that ssn number let's say student id ssn number is social security number given to employees you can consider it as a roll number for students or even uh, employee id for uh, basically company database okay so these all comes under human generated structured data let's move further here is the structured data this is how we can easily that is how structured data is stored i told you structured data is stored in the form of rows and columns here it is your uh, horizontal form your horizontal form is rows and your vertical form are columns we have five columns here so this is our employee table you can say here it is we have a database then under that we have tables that is database is a collection of tables you can say tables have rows and columns this is what i have shown here so structured data is stored in the form of database which is having collection of tables and each table is having rows and columns and data like this so this is a mere example structured data can include a lot of rows and columns so this is just for explaining